Hey guys, and we are back in a Planet Coaster. Welcome back. Apologies for the uh, break in episodes. Uh, it was great to see, I guess, all of you guys asking for more episodes. I would have loved to have done them. I was uh, at home over the Christmas break, and my computer was not powerful enough to run this park. I have a GTX 780 at home, and 16 gig of RAM could not run this park. Like we are doing right now, I'm back in uh, London, and we are good to go. So I'm going to claim a little thousand reward. Look at this money right now. It's looking good. We still have this nine excitement challenge on the line. We're reaching new heights in terms of guests. Um, this is midday in the park. Flow is working quite well. I'm worried this is going to get congested soon, but as you can tell, we're kind of distracting people up to this area of the park now. This is the new area we built last time. And uh, it's doing a good service, it's doing a good service, I'm going to check up on my gas. Log flumes, people love log flumes, can't get enough of the log flume. So while I was at home, even though it was lagging, I did try and do some work to this ride to make it more um, agreeable. Because yeah, it does just look like, I mean we've got like 5 people coming on, but this thing's probably making a loss, let's see. Um, okay, yeah, it's, it's losing a grand and a half a month. I tried changing all of this to make it not so savage, and uh, I realized the arrows are kind of in the whole thing. But, you know, I'll leave it here. As anyone who wants to be an extreme thrill seeker, my park got you covered. And it's not as if we need that extra. You know, see, see that 1,000 and a half? 1,000 and a half? 1,500 is an investment into the true thrill seekers of this series, of this game. But uh, yeah, the log flumes, still mad popular. That one's maxed out. This one's maxed out. Almost like thinking, like, do I do another one? I might, I might work on a rapids actually. I think that's what I might do. Maybe out from here somewhere. I may, may have to like extend a pathway down there and get a little rapids area in around here. Perhaps actually, if I could get a rapids that went around this existing scenery. Yeah, it's gonna be tight getting around those edges, but I think that could be a cool idea, or at least have it in this in this AO. In this AO, is that the? I don't know. So I'm just trying to think. Where would I link? I guess I could have... No, nah, I've not left myself enough room for a queue to be around there. But what? before I do that, 6,000 in the park. It's got me management. Go on me management. Average guest happiness at 99%. Uh, the litter is disgusting. Um, but the guests are seemingly doing pretty alright. I mean, those never seem to get great. I actually was, again, doing some research on Reddit and stuff. And it seems like no one ever gets those in the green past, like, a few thousand guests. So, hey -o. Um, the other thing I want to check up on is my staff, because I think I accidentally set one staff's wages to $18, didn't I? Okay, you need to be on way more than that. Let's go for $220. I, I don't know if that actually happened or not, but you know what? Um, let's, let's just bump up the wages of anyone who isn't happy. You're, uh, yeah, you're just, your workload's low, that's fine. There we go, hit a quad down there, and I need to bump all of their things. Uh, 145, 145, 240. There's definitely not wage equality in my workers. I'll tell you that much. I, I, I will admit that much right now. They just don't. I have so many more mechanics as well after the great breakdown season of last episode. But you know what? Let's train them all up. Let's make them good at their jobs. And, oh, you got a high workload. Let's get you at 180. Um, you don't need any training. You guys can have some just because you're not happy. Keeping them happy, keeping them happy. I wonder if we're going to find the worker that I gave 180 wages. Well, $18 wages. It was probably this person here, wasn't it? Because he's, you're not, no, you're getting fired. I'm sorry, if you're not happy, after even you get some training, you're getting fired. You're just getting fired. Okay, let's see down here. Uh, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Same with you. See, I can I can be all right sometimes. You know, you're pretty well trained, so I'll I'll keep you on the keep you on the movements. I should really just learn what like the th the pay thresholds are, because there are exact amounts that you can pay everyone to make sure their maximum happiness for the cheapest amount. But then again, the park is working very successfully. Very tempted to fire you, but uh, you know that's it. Fired. Fired. Same with you, like, you got all the training, but if you're not happy at all, your wages are really low. But I'm still going to fire you and start fresh. Jeez. We've got a few people struggling their way through. We'll rehire. I think you're in a savable realm. 
Get you up to 165. And now we'll rehire on that front. Again, sorry to have to do this every episode. But it is a necessary stage of keeping everything running at this at this stage. A necessary stage of keeping everything at this stage. Okay, let's see how many things close down. To be fair, even on this computer, I'm slightly afraid that I'm starting to lose performance. I mean, I am uh, recording while playing, and 6k people in here. Look at that rating, though. Look at that rating. Up 24%. Beautiful. So, no, this is, yeah, doing good. I probably want to get a roller coaster in this area as well at some point, but... For now, we shall move over to here and work out how to get a path out that way. Hmm, it ain't gonna be easy. This literally, like, blocks off the way. I wonder if I could curve one round through there. Or, you know what, if I just move that a little to the right, I'm gonna do that. So, I think I may just drag this to the left a bit. As close as I can to there. It's literally as good as we're gonna get. I don't think I actually needed to move the gulpy place that pathway so now we have a route here where we can sneak some people out so let's see what we can do here we go let's get on the settings we like the wide paths but how wide are we going to get through here i think we'll only get like a seven meter oh you know what i think doing it like that is actually going to be okay you know what there we go. We've accessed a brand new area. It wasn't easy. I've not made my life easy along the way, but we have that. And it's good. So this is where we're going to be, we're going to be log um, rapideering, rapideering. And it should be really popular because it's something quite different. Not done one of these ever before. So let's go on track rides. Let's go on a custom. In fact, is that? No, that's a flume. Custom. The, the rubber dinghy rapids, mate. All right, let's get one of these placed in. So, let's rotate this way. Do we want it like this? Sure. Got to think very carefully about where that path's going to go. It's probably, you know, we should probably build this pathway bit now, actually. Honestly. Honestly, path, path first. Panic later. And you know what? Once it's through this section, we may as well open it back up. Because why wouldn't we? So again, I'm scared I'm going to delete that whole queue if I'm not careful. So let's get it up to boom, maximum width, ma -ma 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 maximum. And there we go, look at that. It's a perfect fit. Now I'm thinking we're just going to shoot this all the way around. Again, we don't need to be 100% space efficient. We've moved beyond those days. Alright, let's get this going all the way. All the way around and watch people start walking on here for no apparent reason. Once it's done. So we're going to have some room for some stuff down there. And we just link it around into the top. Kind of wish it looped in a little closer, but you know what? Just doing that is fine for now. It gives it, again, more expansion space. Boom. So we've added another little section there. Cool. So now we head down to this end. And we get our ride in here. So it's going to actually angle this way a little bit. Track rides. It's going to be a, it's going to be hard to get some good stats on this, I must say. But the first rubber dinghy rapids are on the way in. So again, I always leave it with not enough room on the uh, on the return, I guess, if you like. So I'm going to make sure I do that. To be fair, very. It's, I can understand why I do that, actually, here. Like, this is where we want it to be. And the pathways all run down there. And then I want it to really head out in this direction. I guess, actually, same... It's just returning it to that point. Not going to be easy. You know, it might actually have to be, like, a steep entrance point. Cause I, I want it to be all up in here. Up in her. That is the, the predicament we're in. I mean, I guess I can terraform this area. Actually, maybe if I just put the starting point, like, literally here. We have the pathway really stretch its way in. And actually, I want to lift this up a bit. Start them off nice and high. Hang them high. There we go. I think that's going to be okay. 
Alrighty, boom, we're in. It's been actually a while since I built a ride of this kind of calibre. 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 So, let's start it off with... So, we've got a standard track. We've got rapid sections. We've got conveyor belt. We've got wide sections. Left, right. Okay. So, I am thinking... We start off and we drop them in. We drop them into the fun and games. Okay, and we can have a pretty, we can have a pretty, pretty intense start to start things off. We've got auto tunneling on. Indeed, that is correct. I'm thinking we lift that up a little bit. We start them off like that. And where do I want to take them up? And I've got to be careful not to cover that area. Ooh, could we have it go under the station? Now that I like. That is something I like. And now, I reckon they're going to be going quite fast through here. So I'm going to stretch them out to here. Let's see, to this point here. And then can I start going uphill? Conveyor belt, lift start. And you can't mess around with how that is. Okay, now we start bringing them up. Is that really the steepest it goes? Okay, that is the steepest up you can bring people. So I'm thinking we bring them up a little bit. And then I'm thinking we bring them round and then up again. Because I don't want to have them going all the way out there, you know. So then we have this wrap around like that. And we have it drop down a bit. Should really pause while I do this so the rest of my part doesn't fall apart. Have them uh, go through. To be fair, like, where are we going to get our main features? That's the other thing we've got to think about here. Actually, how far can you rotate around? You can get to 90 degrees. Let's have them go 180. And then let's have them go up again. Have them go to there. And then have them go up again. And now I'm kind of utilizing space a bit better. That really is like as, as up as it goes, but I like how that fits. I'm liking this. Okay. So we've got more the way up here. Now I'm thinking we, we've got some height now. We've got some good height here. We've got some nice little sections. So now I want to give him a nice little flowing round section. Let's have this quite steep. Should we have it rapid Z as well? Rapid Z, here we go. Get them on the the uh, the the good old rapidos. Okay, there we go. So they go fast around there. I think we level them out a little bit. Coming through to there. Now we uh, we have a drop start. Actually, we want the drop start to be earlier. There we go, drop start. Gonna have them drop. Is that re is that a drop? Okay, this is this is this is. I guess let's think about it. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm thinking in the terms of like roller coasters and like log flumes. These are like little they're, they're donuts. They're those donut things. So of course, yes, we're not gonna have them like going. It has to be more gradual. Definitely. Okay, so let's have them drop like that. Drop for a little bit. Then let's have the drop end there. Let's have it go into a wide section. We can get some cool stuff there. Have some rapids in there. And I'll have it end. And then I think, honestly, let's bring them round, all the way around and down. Maybe not down that much. And then we can bring them up the last little bit and then get them to the end. So now we go to conveyor belt, lift them up a little bit to get them back to the end. Have them, give them a bit of height. And there, there we go. Hill end. Auto complete. Not available for this ride. Oh no. Wait, not, not available at all or what? Wait, hold up. Okay, that could make things difficult, because I'm going to have to link this up myself, but it's fine, we can do it. 
Oh wait, okay, it's giving us an autocomplete option. Can we do it? Oh wait, hold up, if I make this. There we go, midsection. Okay, conveyor belt end. And then let's link it up, there we go. Okay, it's all linked. It's ready to go, it's ready to end. Okay, let's test it, let's see what stats we are gonna be getting on this. Actually, before we do that, I wanna go and grab all of these and I want to max out the chain speed because that's what I'm all about. And again, these, I guess they're supposed to be a little more scenic. So I've kind of made this pretty crazy as it is. Three chain lift sections, I like it. I think this could, could come in good. I'm, I, and I'll get some stats up to compare it to and it, once I've tested it. So let's start the test, here we go. Are we gonna have enough? Um, I guess actually they'll stack up around there. All right, let's jump on board as we test. Here we go. As you can tell, the people are absolute. You can t you can see by the excitement on their face that they're just loving this. Although at the same time, I am slightly concerned that we're dropping a few frames here and there. Okay, that bit is a little slow, but it's fine. It's fine. That excitement's going up as they're getting thrown up there. Then they're speeding up down here. They're loving that. Their excitement's all all good. Now, it stays actually, on the, on the up, it stays pretty good. Excitement, like, 5.8 is fine. That's fine. They're actually getting more and more excited. I think the higher they get, the really the more excited they get. They get excited dropping off the edge of that. Now they got a little fast section. Excitement, will it break 10? Why are you not excited? You're going flying down a... They didn't like that? Are you trying to tell me they didn't like that? I mean, sure, whatevs. I guess they like going fast, but they were going fast down that little bit. Look, they love that kind of stuff. Almost makes me think those drop sections aren't even worth having, but I like the variety, definitely. And then is this back to the start? More gentle. I mean, hey, it can be a gentle ride, you know? And then they're back in the station. Okay, what are the final stats saying? Please tell me we had something in the green. Okay. 5.2, 3.6, 2.0. And let's, uh, let's see a heat map for excitement. I mean, it's, it's, it is what it is, you know. That's actually where they're having the most fun. Um, fear. Okay, got it. Nausea. Just a bit of everything. Okay, so. 5, 3, 2. I want to see how that compares to this. 5.2, 3, 5 3.6, 2. 2.0. Then over here, we've got... We've got, uh, five, okay, 5.6, 3.8, 2 2.1. So actually, it's very similar. So that, that gen generally, I think, is a good sign to me. If it's similar to that, which is one of the most popular things in my park, I'm with it. I am with it. So with that, we shall place the entrance here. Just place the exit here. And then we'll get it all hooked up. Okay. Let's do it. Right, I think I want to get this pathway. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Oh, damn it, I'm going to have to test it again, annoyingly enough. Let me actually do that now while I'm building the pathway. Test. Okay, is it testing? Are you a test? Yes, now, right. Okay, path. That, that, honestly, I think they should patch that. And, again, I think you should be able to test rides while, uh... While something's happening, yep. I'm sure, again, everyone knows exactly what I'm talking about. You should be able to test rides while time is paused. Okay, let's start dropping this down. To the ground. Get, get some easy uh, scenery, path scenery bonuses. By just going along the side of here. And I think that's actually a really good path length. Right, let's link that together. Beautiful. And now let's get the exit path in. Right, and we want to get the width down, and I think we'll just run it down the same kind of, same kind of trajectory. Right, here we go. I like two snakes. This is a snake, and job done. That's actually a slightly longer exit path than I usually do, but it's fine. There we go. Okay. I reckon this is going to be mad popular, actually. And once I get all the good stuff in here, I'm just going to speed it up till it finishes. 
Oh, actually, I want to add more, uh, add more cars. Of course, I do. And we have to test it again. I feel like five is going to be a good amount. Let's see. Let's see if we got that right. Given, like, loading and unloading time. I think she's going to be all right. The rubber dinghy rapids. Yeah, that looks about the right kind of flow. I mean, you need a bit of a gap just to let them load up, so. I think that should be fine. Um, minimum departure before the train can depart. Useful for spacing up cars. I think I'm going to put that up to five seconds, actually. And don't block stations. Arriving trains will override. Yeah, don't block the station. Just don't do it. There we go. I think that's going to be fine. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Right, let's slow down time. The the money banks just going up and up. Okay, that's all good. Overview. We've already got 74% um, past scenery, but we'll add a bit more. I want to get something actually really big scenery-wise in that spot right there. What can we get? Let's see what we have in here. All right, you got a lot of signs. Almost time to get another planet coaster, dude. Is there a way to like toggle on like the most epic stuff? The most insane, epic, insane. Because like this all looks kind of small. Wait, oh no, blueprint. That's what I want to do. Blueprint. Here we go. By order of the queen. That's actually a nice little, nice little statue. And it's got a queen on it. You know what? I just feel like it doesn't fit that space very well. I feel like honestly, it would work better. Kind of mysteriously in the uh, in the foliage there. Maybe if I even just move that tree back a little bit. There we go. And there we go. Boom. I like that. And that's probably maxed out my Q scenery now. Ninety percent. Okay, we're still gonna go a bit bit further. Let's see what else we have in here. Okay, these are actually my blueprints. To be fair, I'm tempted to get. Some, like, food and drink in there. Oh, my goodness. Okay, the fairy tale town market is huge. And I'd have to put in all the paths myself, which I would probably make a huge mess of. So, let's, let's forget that one for now. Save that for a later date. I actually need to get some more of these. Come to think of it. What do we have here in terms of food and drink? Actually, here's another Rapids ride. Here, look, look. Okay, we did well compared to this Rapids ride. I know this one looks epic. If it will let me pull it in. Look, that's... See, that looks epic, right? Oh, wait, that's actually a log flume. No, there is a Rapids, isn't there? Though? Let's see, track ride. Jungle drift. Yeah, four, two, four, three, two. And mine's, what, five something something? And this does look epic, though. Here, check this out. Check this out. Yeah, that looks awesome. Look at that, it comes with all the scenery. And it's 432. Then we check mine, and mine is. Let me check this. Uh, 532, so it's better. And it's open, wait. Why are they just. Okay, oh, they're just overriding, which is fine, I guess, actually. Which is fine if it just overrides. I might actually set. To be fair, we've got a good flow rate going there. Let's see, do we have a good flow rate here? Yeah. They're, okay, they're fine. They don't need it. But I feel like they need it here anyway. And people are slowly making their way over. We may need some more stuff to lure people out to this area. But, uh, yeah, well, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was doing some scenery. We can get a bit more in the house. You know what? I've been meaning to get the crazy caterpillar for a while. Can you walk through the crazy caterpillar on your way in? Yeah. I like that. Does it get in the way? Almost does a little bit. Hmm. Could I stretch it? I probably could, actually. And move this back in. And I've made a stretched version of the Hungry Caterpillar. It's good. Okay. And it comes with some lighting as well, which is quite nice. And it comes with bubbles. The bubbles. The bubbles. All right. So, some decor needs to be done here. Okay. What decor do we go for? question. I wonder if I could get more if I just override. Nah, let's, let's leave it at that. Okay, so first off, terrain. I'm thinking we uh, we go for 
a cave of sorts on uh, on this side actually around here all right we're gonna need a bit more size a bit more intensity I'm thinking a cave around here could be quite cool just because you don't get the view coming around here there we go fit that in nicely there I want to smooth this off Um, like so, even though this is going to make my life probably annoying later on when I try and work some stuff out to do with this. Should really be using a smoothing tool rather than just extra raising of the land there. But I like the way that looks. Actually, I want to make that go all the way around forward. Let's get that to where we need it to be. There we go. You've got a little cave section that they drop through. Thinking of just adding in like a little mountainous region here on the ascent. So it looks like it's kind of following some terrain coming down there. And then I think it's going to be a job of just adding some like rocks probably around those cave mouths, getting something cool on there. Maybe making this whole thing rocky could be a cool idea. And then I think that kind of works as is. I almost do actually want to extend that all the way upwards and put it in a cave up there. But I think I would mess with the terrain all around there. So maybe we leave this. Maybe we put this in like a little horseshoe type thing. Just to give it a bit more of a, a bit more of a feel for the terrain. Again, I'm trying to sound like I know what I'm doing and talking about. There we go. And yeah, we could even have the rocks kind of run around there as well create something cool looking. You know what that means guys, we've got to get some rocks in here. It is time, and we've already got people coming in, lots of people coming in. It is time for a rock montage. <laughs> Not rock music, just placing rocks. My speciality at this point. All right, let's get to it. And 20 minutes later, this ride is scenery'd up. It was actually quite difficult. I do, again, need to load in some new um, community um, items. But I like what's uh, happened with all this area. I managed to fit this water feature in with the volcano, which comes with some lighting and some cool stuff. I think it's time to uh, see how that looked from the top of here. So let's hit play. Top on the ride camera. And where are we in the ride? Oh my goodness, okay, that is looking good. Okay, this is actually right at the start, right here. This is what we're checking out. So you go on cinematic view. Very, very cinematic stuff. It's because it's just in the station, actually. Can I, like, can I watch a different cart, please? Can I, like, can I watch this cart? Is there actually a way to do that? Ride camera. Is there really not a way to, like, jump carts? Because that ain't cool. I'm literally, like, stuck here now. Um, okay, I'll have to ride that in a sec when that car decides to move. Oh my goodness, okay, the volcano looking epic. Now that it's all lit up. Oh my goodness, yes, that look that looks good. Um to be fair, we can almost like see it from here, like here, let me go and this is not the same, is it? But yeah. That's looking good. Bit of scenery on here. It should be getting some good ride prestige actually. It's 880, but it's gonna keep going up. 100 percent Q scenery. What's the prestige on this? 1,000. Um, looks a bit too intense. And that's even with, like, a fear of 5.6. <laughs> Meanwhile, your buddy out here. Your good old buddy. Wait, is that someone on there? Oh, it's broken down. With uh, That probably doesn't help people with how scary it is. And yes, I know a Kraken is supposed to have six legs, but it's a small pool, so you know. 
But is this uh, bringing the people? Yeah, it's bringing the people, I would say. I would definitely say. It's doing a good job. Um, but we must get things fixed. Request inspection. And, uh, you know, let's get that refurbished, even though no one goes on it. But whatevs. Okay, 6.1 thousand people in my park. I think we need another thrill ride out this way just to kind of give more attraction to this area. These are, these are always easy to get placed in. Actually, you know, let's go for a family ride. Let's go for a gentle, a gentle ride. What's the most exciting of the gentles? The collider. Ooh, this is quite big as well, so it fits the space quite well. Yeah, I think that fits quite nicely into that little area. Let's drop it down. And let's go for the entrance. Let's get that all the way around here and have that path link through. And then the exit just going to go straight out. Okay. This should work. I'm just going to snake it through this area here. I'll get rid of that bush when the time comes in my life. Actually, I could have gone a bit further this way. Let's go a bit further this way. Then let's loop it around. And catch people as they're exiting that next right there. Perfection. Open it up. It's good to go. And now, final thing to do is to get rid of that. I wonder what this thing's like to ride. Let's, uh, let's see. If I speed up, will people get on it? Will it run? Uh, in fact, I should also change that to every 20 minutes. No one's hopping on yet. Rise, breaking down left, right, and center. Again, let's get that down to 20 minutes. I, w I, I wish there was a way to globally do that to all my rides, actually. Sunflare, let's get you fixed. Let's get you refurbished. And let's get that down to every 20 minutes. Okay, we're still in fast mode. Whoops. Okay, still 6k people. And to be fair, we could do some food and drink places down here. Let's get some water in here. And, yeah, let's do my new, my new favorite building. My new favorite building. Pretty big, though, isn't it? Have it just have it there, and actually, we oh, we need to get some Q scenery going down here. So let's first of all let's have that like that. That actually gives a bit of ride scenery. Let's get some Q scenery in here now. This is the hot dog place. We need something smaller. That fits in quite nicely, actually. It makes the path wider. Let's get that in if we can. Come on, cover the place. There we go. Fits the space very nicely. We'll probably need some more, actually. That's probably at, like, 60%. Oh, no, it's at 100. Oh, because it's got the caterpillar as well. Ah, perfect. And I want to get toilets in a food place here. Shop some facilities. Let's get toilets in here. Let's go custom. Get the toilets in here. Let's have a little toilet block on the inside here. Boom, there's one. There's two. Can't place the third on the same thing. Oh, okay, ticket booths and stuff. Right, you know, in fact, two toilets is fine. And you know, let's get let's get some sort of a gift shop here. I wonder, are the gift shops still mad popular? Let's see. We have, what do we have down here? We have, do we have gift shops? Yeah, we do. Oh, balloons. Balloons are still mad popular, so let's get a balloon store down here as well. Maybe I should get a hat store, because this is literally the other side of the park. The other, In fact, no, the nearest hat store is just there. Not so popular anymore. People are all about their balloons these days. So that's gone gift shops. It's gone blueprints for gift shops. Let's see what we get. In fact, none of these. If I get a fairy tale hat shop. You know, I like the look of that, so we're doing it. No, 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 we're not. Actually, no, I, I was about to say, I'll put the hat shop down and I'll just put a balloon store in there, but no, that ain't going to work. There we go, this looks nice, actually. Oh, has it got two for the price of one? Okay, I like that, actually. I like that, if I can get both paths linked as well. There we go. You know, I should do the smart thing and have it a little way away. Have it, like, there. Now putting the paths myself. So we go on here. And there we go. Then those paths aren't cramped. And it gives me a little room for a bit of scenery in here. What is going to fit? Clay pots. Lovely. Uh, I'm thinking some actually 
How big is this? Okay, that's a little bigger than I had in mind. Sci-fi fountain. It's quite a big one. There we go. Small pirates. No, that, that doesn't even make sense either. It's got the cannon. Fast collection. <laughs> that makes no sense. I want to do the crates, actually. Let's see. Crate. Here we go. Crates and barrels. There we go. I think that fits quite well. Fits quite well. The theme. There we go. Get that open up. Okay. Cool. Now we hope people are actually going to start coming here. Look, we've got tons of people hopping on this rapid. We need benches actually parked. Every area you add, there's so many like little extra things you've got to think. What do I need? What do I need? Scenery, path extras. Where are you? See, why does path extras disappear from time to time? I don't understand. Scenery. Like, I don't, I don't, where did it go? It's like, it's always been there. And then it's just not. And I'm like, um, what? So now I'm going to have to go and duplicate from down here. Here you go. Duplicate my bins into the area. And go from there. Duplicate. And you always have to press that twice. Don't know why. There we go. Okay. Get a few of those in. Yep, the gift stores would be... Do we have a balloon shop in there? I should check, actually. We have... Oh, we have all three. Wait, where's the third one? Oh, it's round here. Perfect. Okay. That's nice. I dig that. Three for the price of one. I'm glad I now know that that's there, because I can now connect it in properly. Does that have another? No, okay, that's just the back of the shop. Perfect. Now I need to get some benches in there. Yeah, people are moving that way now, which is good. Now uh, we duplicate you and get you in the place. Let's get plenty of these down. And then I think we've actually, we've had a successful episode. We've got a new ride, new decor, new little area on the, on the way. Um, and an, a new record high of people, 6.3k. There we go, reaching new, dizzying new heights, blinded by the lights. Should probably get some sort of a shop on this walkway as well. Lure into people as they go, let's see. Has the drink, food drink situation changed? No, it has not. Energy's actually down, so yeah, we need more benches. And more energy drink places, so. Might just go and spam these over the park. To be fair, it's probably because I added so much path without benches along it that they're like, people are tired, they can't catch a break. When, in reality, they can. They can catch a break. Let's move a bin into that area as well. Let's move that off the path. For starters. I always feel like an idiot when I click move and it doesn't move. I'm like, did I do something wrong? Alright, that will do for now. I want to see what this ride is like to ride. This is pretty intense. For a gentle family ride, this is pretty darn intense. But hey -o. That will do. That will do nicely. And yeah, we're looking at we're looking at a very successful ride right here. The queue's flying through. It's all good. Alright, there we go. New record park rating and number of guests. Leave your thoughts, suggestions, all that good stuff. I will see you all on the next episode. And look, we're filling our park. Look at this. I think it extends to up to there. Oh wait, does it go all the way up to there? I guess that's just dodgy terrain. But like we've, we've we're starting to fill this properly out. Like soon we're gonna be out in this area, and that's the scary thought. Like how many people will be in my park? Will it will it survive? Will my PC survive? Will the park survive? Who knows? Find out next time. I will see you all then. Thanks and goodbye.